Earlier in this course, we touched on the term high key, which basically describes a contrast ratio with little to no shadows. In a lot of ways, beauty lighting embodies this idea to the max. With this sort of lighting, there is no shadows. The face is evenly lit from side to side. Well, up until this point, we've walked you through our approach to lighting for, you know, creating a cinematic mood. And that just sort of stems from our work in music videos and feature films. You know, our sensibilities are more in line with sort of shadows and moods and contrasts. But you kind of have to abandon a lot of that when you're approaching beauty lighting. So how do you get this look, right? So the first step is placement. Placement of the lights is crucial for beauty lighting. Instead of having a key light from the left or a key light from the right, you need to place your lights right above and below your camera. We like to call this a clamshell because if you actually look at the setup from the side, it does sort of resemble the shape of a clam. I think the best way to explain how a clamshell works as a lighting setup is to compare it to a more traditionally lit cinematic lighting approach. So here's our first shot. We're keying our subject from the left, and you know, this would typically be how you'd approach lighting a low key, you know, moody lighting approach with tons of shadows and contrast. And this would look great for a drama, but for beauty lighting, you wanna light your subject without shadows. So that's where the placement of lights and the clamshell works really great, because instead of keying from the left and having shadows on the right or vice versa, you're placing your lights on the same plane as your camera and your subject you know, basically lighting the entire front half, you know, eliminating all shadows. Not only that, but the combination of lighting from above and below, you know, just fills your subject in with light. And the last thing you need to place is your camera. Don't forget when you're setting up the lighting, you know, your top and the bottom elements of this clamshell to leave a little gap in the middle to where your camera and the lens can shoot your subject. Step two is dialing in the lights. You can see if we just played the top light in the clamshell, or just played the bottom line in the clamshell, it starts to create shadows on your subject's face. So you want to dial in the points of both the top and the bottom to taste, to where you feel like your subject is evenly lit. Something to consider as well is making your source as large as possible. You know, we've touched on soft light earlier in this course in previous lectures, and essentially by making your source larger, it'll appear softer on your subject. And since this is beauty lighting, you know, softer lighting is gonna make your subject just look better. Step three, 